Hey guys, this is Tom from Numbers Game Lifestyle, and today we're going to be talking about sarging, and should you be doing it? Okay, for those who don't know, sarging is basically a PUA term for going out specifically to meet women, to hit on chicks. And how should you go about doing this? Like, and should you be doing it? Now, for me personally, I don't typically like to go out strictly to hit on chicks, okay? I've done it before. I've done it in the past, and I'll, I'll probably do it again in the future. But the majority of times, I just like going out with the intent of not hitting on chicks. Let's say I'm going to the grocery store. I'll go to the grocery store, but I'll try to time it where it's going to be busy. There's going to be a lot of people around because it increases my odds that I'll run into an attractive woman that I you know that I'm interested in. Same thing like if I'm going to take a walk or whatever. I go to leave my house. I'm going to go to a place where I'm more likely to run into women. Right? I'll take a walk that's more in a busier part of town. So it increases my odds of running into a girl that I find attractive. And hopefully she finds me attractive. Right? So I always have something to do while I'm keeping my eyes out for an opportunity to meet women. It makes it very efficient. It never feels like you're wasting time. Like a lot of the times you'll be like, all right, I'm going to go out to Sarge. I'm going to go out to hit on chicks. And you go out and you spend like who knows how much time and you don't see anything, there's no opportunities and you feel like, like damn, that was a waste of time. And it kind of is. Whereas if you have something else to do, it doesn't feel like a waste of time. You were getting stuff done regardless of whether you met women or not, whether you saw any opportunities. It's very natural to do it this way. It's just part of your day. It's more spontaneous. It's not like going out to hit on chicks. Now, what are your alternatives? What if you're not out and about very often and you're just not, you don't see very many opportunities during your daily routine, during your daily errands, you just don't have very many opportunities. In which case, you are gonna have to sarge. You are going to have to go out specifically to hit on girls. Now, what I normally do when I'm in these situations where, like, really my daily routine doesn't have me, like, encountering very many attractive women, I'll go to the nearest, you know, outdoor mall, and it'll be nice weather, and I'll just go out and chill just outside of, a like, a busy, semi-busy outdoor mall with that, that has, like, grocery stores, it's got, like, a gym... It's got like a liquor store, a bunch of different places that are like littered around this outdoor mall. And I can just sit back and chill and watch from a distance to see like if there's any attractive women that go into the grocery store or they go into the convenience store or they go into the liquor store. In which case, like if they happen to see one or maybe she's um, sitting on one of the benches, like looking at her phone or something like that. I've had that happen and have had success doing that as well. But you just sit and wait and you watch. And again, it's not really a waste of time, especially because like you're getting outdoors, you're getting fresh air, you're getting some sunshine. Yeah, it's not a waste of time. You just sit back and wait and you hopefully someone attractive comes by. And if they go into the grocery store, you go into the grocery store. You grab a basket and you start grocery shopping. Yeah, and you can meet women doing this. There is no like, it's not like you lose points by doing this. The only negative is, it just kind of feels like if you don't see any attractive women, it kind of feels like, man, I just kind of sat here for an hour and nothing happened. Didn't catch anything. It's just like if you go to a bad fishing spot, you throw the line out a bunch for like a full hour and you don't get any bites. It's kind of like, man, that's kind of a waste of time. But 
you know, you, you can absolutely make things work this way. Like, you can get laid a ton, meet plenty of women by sarging, getting out there and, you know, a place that's convenient for you and waiting for them to show up and approaching when they do. And a lot of the times when you're sarging, you'll get in your head that everybody's watching you. Everybody knows you're just there to hit on chicks. You know, you're just a horny guy that's, you know, looking to score. And virtually no one is thinking that, right? It's all in your head. You think everybody's watching you. Everybody knows that you're out here to look for chicks. No, it just looks like you're waiting for someone. It just looks like you're enjoying the sunshine, getting some fresh air, chilling back and relaxing. And if anybody, like say you run into somebody that's like, hey, like, what are you doing here? I'm just like, no, oh, I'm just waiting for someone, just getting some fresh air. Whatever it is, you really do not have to feel any kind of guilt for sitting back and waiting to hit on chicks. That's all in your head. All that guilt is in your head. And yes, if you're consistently at the same spot, day in and day out, security might ask questions. Security might be like, like, why are you here? Like, what, are you waiting for someone? Because it looks kind of like you're sketchy. You look like you're kind of scoping out the place. Like you're looking for an opportunity to like rob someone or rob a place. It's just odd. But hopefully you don't have to do this very often. It shouldn't be like an everyday thing. You just go to the same spot and you wait in front of the, this busy mall or a busy grocery store. It should be like a sporadic thing. You do it the odd time. You hang out for an hour. You see what arises. You see if the fish are biting. And if not, you keep it moving. You know, the only people that will really ask questions are security people that, see, that are waiting around, twiddling their thumbs, doing the exact same thing you are. All right? So they're just like, what are you up to? In any event, I've never had a security guy ever say anything to me. I've never had anyone say anything to me because I don't make it super obvious either. In fact, it just looks like I'm waiting for someone. It looks like I'm just enjoying the sun, relaxing. And if someone asks you, let's say you run into somebody that you know, if you feel comfortable, you can say, yeah, just waiting to hit on chicks. No big deal. They'll be like, what? Like, I've never done that before. Like, you actually do that? You should never feel guilty about going out to approach women. It's all in your head. Everybody, doesn't matter who it is, they're doing their own thing. They, all they see is a guy waiting there as the, before they like, before they walk in and do their errands, get the stuff that they need to get. You're just a guy that's waiting there. They don't think like, oh, he's waiting around to hit on girls. You know, he's doing this all the time. No, everybody is there in their own little world, dealing with their own problems and all the problems that you're thinking that like everybody's thinking that I'm approaching girls. Everybody thinks that I'm a creep. It's all in your head. No one else is thinking that it's just you because you know, you're, you know, you think you're the center of the universe when everybody else is not paying you a second thought. They're just like, they look at you and they're off. They're thinking about something else, right? So do not stress about what people think about you going out to hit on chicks. Okay, get it out of your mind. And if you notice that people are maybe shop owners or maybe security are kind of like curious about like what you're doing here all the time. Again, it's not a big deal. As long as you're not spam approaching everybody that walks by and agitating people, you, you really have nothing to worry about. Get out there, Sarge if you need to, but hopefully you try to integrate approaching women as part of your day. You know, as a part of your day, as you go to the gym, as you go to the grocery store, as you commute to work, it's all like there's opportunities there in most cases that you can approach women without having to dedicate time specifically to approach women. Anyways, guys, that's the video. If you need help doing this, maximizing your cold approach efficiency or getting over that fear of what will people think of me if they see that I'm approaching girls, I help guys do that. There's coaching links down below. Anyways, guys, that's the video. 
Thanks for watching.